We have a hag hanging out here, that's pretty great, but here's the thing. A lot of my characters are in the infirmary or getting stress relief right now, including some characters that I would want to use to fight the hag. So we're not going to fight the hag this week. Um, I'd have liked to do something kind of special for my um, episode 50, but instead I'm going to go with a pretty, uh, what should be a more low-key group this time. See, I still got these level 1s and 2s, and from now on I'll have level 3 heroes available to me at the carriage. So... I think maybe, one, I could use a lot more money, and two, I'd like to, um, you know, bring up some of these lower level characters. So I think that's what we're gonna do here today. Um, also there's some characters like, a uh, Bounty Hunter and Highwayman class that I don't have any higher levels of, so... I say let's prioritize that. We are going to bring along Zumber. Yeah. Um, and we're also gonna, uh, maybe you'd be better off in the second rank. We'll see in a second. Uh, and do you have your healing skills, Victor? Yes, you do. So Victor, we're gonna bring along. And for the sake of getting more money, we're gonna bring Monstro. So how about a good frontline fighter then? Yeah, we do need better bounty hunters. We need better plague doctors too, so I need to work on Dr. Queen sometime in the future too. Don't think I forgot about you, Dr. Queen, or you, Tactic. Um, yeah, there's just so much to do, but what kind of mission do we want to go to? Let's see what the... Um, what the rewards are for doing some of these lower levels. Blood charm is interesting. And fresh air in the tunnels. Okay, that sounds kind of interesting, actually. Or this one, which gets us... Oh, but that's a rare trinket. It's also an extra long mission, but that's a rare trinket. So that sounds pretty good. This is where we're going to go, actually. So this kind of is like a special episode in a way because we're gonna be doing um, a really long mission with some characters we don't get to see very often. Doesn't that sound kind of nice? I think it sounds kind of nice. So let's head on into the Warrens. Um, the Warren Worthingtons. The... I was trying to think of more Warren names for some reason I can't. The Warren piece is... Eh, eh. Yeah, so I was just doing some editing and some uh, level grinding, actually, for the Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. To execute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Wow, so 90% of rooms is going to be <laughs> interesting with this model because of just how much rooms there is. So we're going to try and take a simple path through here. Um Littering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Yeah, so I was doing some editing and some level grinding in Pokemon Black. Um, I'm several episodes behind, actually. For um, We have recorded up through episodes 28, and I think the last episode that came out was episode 24. But Pat is away this week. I don't want to give too much away, but um, I did want to do some level grinding. Don't worry, I'm not cheating. I did... Um, record the whole thing just in case somebody died that we would, you know, keep legit, we would keep them dead, but nobody did die during this particular <laughs> bout of level grinding, I'm happy to say. Um, so, we have a few people who are good at disarming stuff. We're gonna disarm with Azulio. Yeah, did we even introduce Azulio? We said we were taking a bounty hunter, but I don't think I name-dropped... Azulia with the Blue Javelin. You don't have a Blue Javelin, you have an axe, but Blue Javelin is your uh, YouTube handle. Alright, so... Yeah, I feel like we really haven't done that much Warren's stuff. 
which is a little strange. Don't really like the Warrens. I hear that the Cove is considered by more people to be the most dangerous of the four areas, but I like the Cove for some reason. It's the Warrens that make me nervous all the time. Alright, good job, Zumber. Yeah, we're really gonna wanna work on everybody here. Um, we're really gonna want all these level ups. Are you all level twos? I think you are. This might have been a little bit too dangerous to bring a level one into, to be honest. So we're gonna go for damage first. Um, when there's less enemies on the board, then we can go for... Oh yeah, the drummer doesn't really do that much stress damage. When there's less enemies on the board, then we can be healing. I say that all the time, you guys must be tired of me saying stuff like that. And... Fire on the back row. We could do a little bit of heal. It's not a very good heal, but it's something. And dead. And that's one room right off the bat. Yeah, so this is an extra big mission, so we're going to um, run out of space pretty often. Yeah, I always think about bringing journal pages, but it never actually... Never actually works out. And away we go. Um, what else has been happening? Wow, I can't believe... Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this going to reintroduce the plague back into my life? I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready to be dealing with the Crimson Curse again. No. Okay. So I believe... Yeah, you are the ones that have Gather the Blood. So I think I want to fight you guys off first. Which means I don't want to miss so much. Uh, I could be doing marks to do more damage faster. That's something I could be doing, but I think it's going to be faster if I just do it this way. Um, yeah, let's just go for the damage as fast as possible. Oh no, don't give Zumber the plague. Ah, Crimson Curse is back in the game now. Poop. I don't have any blood with me either. You know, I was really enjoying my vacation from the Crimson Curse. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, man. Okay. 50th episode special. Crimson Curse comes back. It's back for our anniversary episode. Yeah, Grape Shot, kill one, do damage to the other. And... Die, 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 die. I did not miss these things at all. Oh, great! I didn't even... Mm. Alright, that's two Crimson Curses now. So that's even more blood that I better find soon. Yeah, and I should really equip your, uh... Knife abilities... Why are you... I know you got a 10 dodge, but still, you're doing really good at dodging there. Okay, so there's a blood just in case I need it. Um, what do I want to not carry? It's only worth 500. I do need the crest, so we're going to drop this jade. Okay, Zumber, come here. We're going to take off... Um, uh, that might be good in case I have stealth things. Grape Shot's not that good of a move, and yet I use it a lot more than I use Tracking Shot. So let's take off Tracking Shot and add Open a Vein back in. Um, that's the nice thing about these uh, pre-upgraded units, too, is that they have all of their moves available to them, so you can just pick whichever moves you like. Yeah, and this is even more... Wow, the Crimson Curse is coming back in full force. I was actually gonna, like, try and do some kind of, like, retrospective thing while I was not really thinking about the battles I'm in, but look at this now. Now we have to deal with all of this. Um, yeah, let's... Oh! It is hard to shoot a mosquito. Die. You know, this isn't, like, the bet. This isn't one of my better party compositions, either, to be honest. 
But I do still hope we can get through this whole dungeon. Maybe we won't be pulling as much treasure out of it afterwards, but I think we can still do the mission. Um, I mean, I haven't had to heal very much, though, so there's that. Okay, good. We did get a kill on you. I'm saving this mosquito here to kill with a grape shot. Yeah, because I didn't want to waste a whole turn finishing off that mosquito. Nice kill, Monstro. Yeah, maybe we can get rid of the bandages. I don't know if we'll really need bandages that that much. We don't want to use a campfire already, do we? We've only done, like, a few rooms. Yeah, but it would make room. Yeah, let's do it so that we can get some buffs. And carry that into the rest of the dungeon, and it'll make room. And we have a whole nother one if we decide we need to camp again. Okay, so this is good against size 2, but I don't know how many size 2 things we're going to see. This is how we do it, would increase accuracy and crit. Um, yeah, we definitely want to prevent any nasty surprises. And... This... Increases accuracy, damage, and crit on... Yeah, let's restring Victor's bow. And... Let's... Say this is how we do it. And so, Azulia talks to everybody about the plan. And we have three left. Uh, stress isn't really a problem yet. We could produce another supply item, but... No, let's give somebody else really good resistances. How about that? Let's... Oh, whoops. I clicked the wrong one. So now we have an extra shuffle that we don't need. Crap. Okay. Now let's give somebody extra resistances. We're gonna give extra resistance to Zumber. We do not need this shovel whatsoever. Okay, take a rest, guys. In Radiance, may we find victory. And we're going to have Monstro open the chest so that we find extra stuff. Yep, that all looks good. Didn't even have to throw anything out. Don't keep going down here. So, 50 episodes of Darkest Dungeon. Feels pretty good. Um, I've really been enjoying this playthrough. I know it's been taking... I know it's been a long playthrough and it's gonna just keep getting longer. But a lot of you guys seem to really be having fun. I can see... I can see interest waning a little bit for like... You know, there's not quite as much roleplay in the comics anymore, but it still exists. You guys still roleplay, and as long as, you know, some people are still having fun with it, I'm just gonna keep going, because I want to beat this game. I want to add this to the list of games that I've beaten. Um, plus, there's a lot more people who still haven't been added on into the crew. Um, I actually pulled out a list to read to the task's end. of just all the people still waiting on deck to be in this Let's Play. Um, let's get to another. So we've had, like, over 70 people say that they, like, put their name into the hat and say that they wanted to be part of this. So it's really cool. I really like these um, semi-interactive Let's Plays that we're able to do. Um, and with great apologies to, you know, I only get so many character slots. So with apologies to all the people who haven't shown up in an episode yet. Um, I will mention all of you by the end of this episode. And if for some reason you still haven't heard your name or the name that you gave me, you know, maybe put your name in the comment section of this one so that... So that I don't forget. Um, can we... Yeah, I don't know why that got so zoomed in. Okay, there's a room battle in here, but we're gonna go in it anyway. Uh, Zumber, you can undo this one. Uh, so... I'm just gonna go through all of that. So, all the players. We got a Tanuki player, Lady Robin, who's been doing a great job, who's been my strongest unit lately. Um, we also got Ramona Summerwish, 
who is a really cool crusader. Um, how do I want to... Yeah. Uh, still waiting on Aaron Axe. Uh, Cameron Libby is going to be part of the game. So can we kill multiple... Oh. Oh, right. That's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, I kind of flubbed how I was supposed to do this. That's all right. I'll kill you then. I was thinking I still had Zumber's turn to do a grape shot. Um, remembering uh, Shadow Blade Fang Blitzer, who I just realized on my cheat sheet I forgot to mark as dead. I believe you were killed in the courtyard. Um, the Armsman Ice Scrawl, who I also didn't mark as dead, also killed during the campaign against the Baron. Uh, here we go, do another grape shot here. Kill oh man. Uh, Endless Nyx was killed a long time ago. Uh, and we got Zumber, who's in this current party. That's all of our uh, highwaymen. Uh, over at the Vessels, we still have all our... No, I must have just forgot to mark them dead after the Baron episode. Because uh, Ginger Kay sadly was killed. But we still have uh, George Fawcett and Hedia Bodan in the party. Um, some other potent, uh, future Vestals who would like to get into the party. But a victory nonetheless. Uh... No, I don't want to get rid of all my torches. So let's... I don't want to get rid of all my food, either. Um... Yeah, do we want to open this one, Hedia? Yeah, there's some more food. I'll actually just feed it straight to you guys. I'll take these. Oh, I don't have room for the deeds. Alright, what can I throw out for the... i trade two torches for two deeds. Uh, Ronic Hyrule is a future Vestal, so is Douglas Jenkins, and so is Dr. Mustache. We have the late uh, cartoon critic, who was, um, I believe, died in our first encounter with a crocodilian. Uh, that was a plague doctor. Uh, cartoon critic has been since um, followed up by by uh, Dr. Queen and by Tactic. Some other plague doctors waiting to come in include Titan the Destroyer and Dr. Yugalp. A lot of really fun names. Um, we got Glowstick of Destiny as our only man-at-arms still. Here, let's uh, use that right out. And... Mm, I think maybe we could just deal with Blight instead of carrying all the anti-venoms. Why did I buy so many anti-venoms if I wasn't going to use them? But, you know, there you go. Uh, but other man at arms for the future include Omega Sam, Drab Warblu, Ziffy Haas, Frost Wolf, and Gunblade Knight. Uh, the Houndmasters, we had the Demon Radicate who passed away. And we have the current uh, Ryu. Oh man. So much stuff. Okay, that's. This is as much as this one ruby. So maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll be time to camp again, again just to like use stuff up. Or we could get rid of the shovels and just kind of dig through. I don't want to... Now, let's get rid of the citrines, because they're not very valuable. Yeah, that one statue was worth more than all those citrines put together. Uh, we got uh, Hilversum, Blom Lucas, and Crick, uh, Chris Friesen also hanging out. Um, waiting to come to the hamlet. We have our grave robbers. Aw. Oh. Monstro got some vampiric 
spirits. Okay. That's a big debuff resist, but it's not that bad. That's like an indirect effect on an indirect effect. Waiting to be spent. Um, our grave robbers, Asmer and Green. We also have on the deck for uh, grave robber, uh, my good friend, Nameless Nick. Um, some of my friends... Uh, also signed up from the very beginning to be part of this, but I didn't prioritize them just because I didn't want to show favoritism. The one exception to that, I guess, is the Green Scorpion, because he... Um, he has to be in this really early, and I knew it was a name that everybody would recognize, and I guess I just wasn't thinking about it at the time. And I'm glad to have the Green Scorpion in here. Um... We got our three Jesters, uh, Motor Mouse, Shadow Dancer, and Vecron. We also have the late Prankstered and the late Pyrocumulus. Our current bounty hunter is Zulio. And waiting on deck, Phoenix, the bounty hunter. We have our late Occultist, the Dark Seraph, also died to the Baron. Um... Or no, in, in the Baron's game, but I don't think to the actual Baron. A singular strike. Uh, we got our current occultist, Magus Andrus. And waiting on deck, we have Zasoud, Phantom Thief Fan, Card, and Ahriman. This is harder to do than I thought because I had to turn my head to look at the Excel sheet on my other monitor. Um, these are both not really worth a super lot, so I think I'll just, I think I'll just drop them. Not that you want to look at that oddly assembled whatevers. Yeah, there's a lot of food on there, so I'm happy about that, actually. Uh, yeah, we can, we can camp again now. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. And we're going to do the exact same thing, because we've been, um keeping pretty well as far as health and stress goes. So this is how we do it. Restring the crossbow. Put some strange powder on Zumber and we'll resupply and get one more torch. Pretty nice. Take a rest there. Um, continuing along on my list. We lost a Hellion named Bullheart, Kieran Palmer. The uh, right now we have the Hellion Dragoon. There's also and possible the future Hellions Cthulhu-chan and Blade the Geist. And yeah, I say let's go up here. Yep, good thing we kept our shovels. Blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Uh, our leper, Phoenix Furno. Um, my friend Pad was doing a... Under the name Pad Tai also is going to be a leper at some point if we need him. Uh, but also we have Deltane and Bear as possible lepers. So we're good on that. Um, for Abominations, we have Zane and we have the Green Scorpion. Also, future possible candidates, Anomalous and Shocking Mate Strider. We got our Star Arbalist, Jalari, and our Backup Arbalist, Victor, waiting in the wings to be in, uh, to be a Arbalist is the Autistic Observer. We have our late Aquari Antiquarian, Elize Ludus who I think was one of the first people who died in this whole campaign. And we have our two current Aquarians, Vroni... <laughs> I said Aquarians, Antiquarians, Vroni and Monstro. Uh, we have our star flagellant Darius, our late... Our late, uh... Flagellant Ricardo Amaral. Expedition at least and two others, uh, JC and Rogue Shark waiting in the rings... In the wings... Finally, we have two shield breakers who have passed on, Ray and Viscount Neuro, 
and our two current shield shield breakers, Brendan Reed, and the real mid boss, who is the most recent person that we've added to the group. So yeah, a lot of people. That's got to be close to eighty people I just named. Um, it's insane to have had had at any point that many people interested in this let's play so you know i'm still not like raking in the big views or anything but for me this has been probably my most popular let's play to not directly feature oscar so that's neat uh the pig yelled at me guys he's scary also getting stabbed is scary No, not much panic. I'm, a. Uh, am doing pretty alright, actually. I'm just kind of tanking spanking this whole dungeon here. Gonna open a vein. Glad I took that ability. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna throw out the rest of this food. I mean, I'm still gonna keep these other 12, but I'll, you know, take the jade and go on from there. All right. Monstro, if you would. Some more curios, which is nice. Um, wait, was there a curio in here I didn't even open? I was too busy reading names that I didn't bother with that curio. Whoops. Okay, and there's the hunger that I was expecting. Open up this box. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Sorry, I guess I'm a little bit distracted, but I just wanted to one more time thank everybody who's been involved. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing this game with so many people hanging on my every click. So, you know, I'm sorry I make mistakes sometimes. I'm a big dumb dummy sometimes, but. I think you guys enjoy it anyway. Let's check out... Oh, right, it was a table. Well, we can look at it. Yeah, pretty nice, actually. Uh, that's a pretty nice spread, and I will... Yeah, leave these. Because I don't want to be a bad host. Okay, we'll go back down towards this room. And, yeah, maybe we do have time to keep going around and hit all these other battles and curios and things. Uh, let's, fine, let's look at the map. Um, Azulio is now craving. Yeah, that's gonna... No, there, there is not any blood hidden there. It said that the map forever changed Zumber, but it didn't seem like that was like a forever change. That was just some stress. Alright, let's continue adventuring and look at these last two rooms at the very least. Because now that we can leave at any time... Ooh, shiny. Uh, take a look at that, Azulio. Okay. The the letters were growing, so, glowing, so I thought it might be something. Uh, we are almost out of torchlight, though. So maybe not keep exploring for too long. Just made me think of in a last airbender when they're stuck in the caves and they're like well each torch lasts about three hours and we have five torches and he like lights all five of them at once the end approaches. last airbender is such a good show they're remaking last airbender on netflix i think it's like gonna be live action with computer animation and like i'm sure it won't be as bad as the end night Shyamalan movie but like why are we doing this why would you I don't get remakes a lot of the times. Like, sometimes there's something you do from a remake, but, like, Last Airbender, I think we all agree, was such a good show. I don't really know what you want to explore by doing it again. And I don't know what there is to be gained to seeing it, like, in live action instead of how it was before. I don't, I don't really see the point. Um... Plus, I'm just really protective because it's something I really like. Like, I know Last Airbender isn't, like, literally perfect. But part of me, if I 
don't Success so clearly. see any purpose there. Or is it merely a trick of the light? All right, let's look at this makeshift dining table. I guess it is makeshift. Oh, you got a tapeworm from that. Oh, you ate something you shouldn't have eaten. That makes kind of a bit of sense why you would have gotten a tapeworm there. Spiders. These spiders would like to tell us goodbye. I mean, obviously there's a lot of, like, live-action Netflix adaptations of, like, anime that aren't very good. Like, I hear the Death Note one is particularly bad. Um, I haven't watched any version of Death Note, so I couldn't really say. Uh, I didn't even want to bother watching the Full Metal Alchemist one, because I was just like, why? What? Like, how will this enrich my life, watching this adaptation? Other than, like, an interesting case study in, like, why... Like, how some adaptations can be uninspired. Or, like, when they did the live-action movie of Ghost in the Shell... Um, whatever other complaints you have, it's also just a less interesting looking movie. Like, there's a really good example of, like, when, oh, I stepped a little too close to that trap. I was about to disarm it. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Um, yeah, now that we're at a torchlight, actually, we should probably just go. I just want to see what this one curio is up here. Uh, there's a really good video by uh, NerdWriter1 on YouTube going into the, like, cinematography of the Ghost in the Shell movie and just why it doesn't quite work. But okay, I don't want to do anything too risky, so let's head out. The twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. So I'm going to get lots of gold... And we got this cool trinket for antiquarians now, which is a plus four speed and plus 20% debuff skill chances. Pretty excited about that. And we got some level ups that we wanted. Finally, Monstro hits level three with a natural eye, better range skills. And Zumber hits level three, so we have a uh, veteran highwayman again with Eldritch Slayer. Okay, so that's going to be good in the, um, in, in the cove. Azulio is still level 2 and became a stress eater. Uh, I hate that one. Um, but also got second wind. So he gets more powerful when at low health. Uh, Victor, not much going on with you there. But you're getting close to your level 3. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, and that's uh, 50 episodes of Darkest Dungeon, guys. I will see you in another 50 you episodes, I guess. The now, like me, you are a part of this place. So the Shrieker's Prize, stunned by the apparent value of the thing concealed amidst its putrid feathers, onlooker, onlookers wondered if a trek to its perch might not be in order. I mean, I already saw that this quest was, like, on the board. Uh, like, I knew it was already available. Is there... is it, like, more available now, or did it just, like, refresh? I'm... I'm a little bit confused, actually. Okay, Ryu is on a quest for enlightenment, so he'll be gone for a little while. Um... Oh, and uh, Dragoon's on a drunken bender, bender and is missing. That's a pain, because I wanted Dragoon to fight the hag. So maybe I won't fight the hag next week? That's kind of what my plan was, but... That's how you make God laugh. You tell him your plans. All right, let's take a look in the stagecoach, see if there are any good level threes. Oh, there are good level threes. There's two good level threes. So, <laughs> sorry, Zulio. After all that work, you're still not quite at level three, and now I'm going to recruit somebody who's going to leapfrog you. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Uh, that my dear friends is going to be our bounty hunter phoenix see and now maybe you recognize the names because i said them all and it's not just phoenix it's phonix not to be confused with phoenix ferno 
or Endless Nyx. This is just Phoenix. Um, you got quite a few negative skills here, including uh, the Torn Rotator, which isn't great for for a man such as you. But, oh, you got Hard Skin. That's a good one. Plus 10% Protect. Okay, and I'm also going to take this Hellion. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Okay, and I need to remind myself what our Hellion's name is going to be. Yes, this is going to be... Delete, 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 delete. And I gotta spell this right because I always forget how to spell this. Cthulhu. Cthulhu-chan. <laughs> Which is just funny to me. Okay, you're evasive, you got an unquieted mind so you can't meditate, you're fascinated with corpses, you lose speed when you're ha below half health, you have a lazy eye. Is Iron Swan a range skill though? No. Yeah, you don't have any range skills, so I don't need to worry about that. Cove Scrounger, Quick Reflexes... Pretty good. Happy to have you both aboard. Um, I could increase the number of slots for the stagecoach, but I want to look at what else all I can upgrade here. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather increase the furnace furnace so that I can lower the cost soon of weapon and armor upgrades. I haven't been doing anything with the survivalist here. Um, I usually just kind of accept whatever <laughs> whatever they want to give me as far as camping skills goes. Alright, well one thing I definitely want to do is take some people to the infirmary. Okay, so who did I just... Yeah, you got the Crimson Curse. But you're also a stress eater, too. Um, I want to treat your stress eating. Because I just hate things that take extra food. Um, Lady Robin's got this vertigo. Which still isn't the worst thing. But I feel like I've seen... Worse diseases on some of you guys that I'd like to treat. We got the tetanus. We got... Yeah, Monster's got two different things now, including the tapeworm. So yeah, let's treat those. Um, besides that, it's just going to be upkeep for a little while. I think maybe we'll still fight the hag then. Sorry, Dragoon, you're not going to get to come. You may have been replaced. Oh, there's two Skyver missions. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so I think next time we're going to um, have Cthulhu Chan start big by taking on the hag with a few of their friends. I'm the Comic Foil. Thank you for watching 50 episodes. Hopefully it won't take 50 more to defeat the Darkest Dungeon. We'll see.